Come on, step up. Let's go. Hi, my name is Buzz Pedersen. I'm a three-time Olympian in the sport of freestyle aerial skiing. This is really great being here with Buzz Pedersen. He's been all over the country and all over the world, and he really knows what he's talking about when he says the plastics have really enabled uh, the ability of athletes to jump farther, uh, to get more lift, and, and to uh, uh, be all that they can be. As a freestyle skier in three Olympics, I could have never done what I did without the technology that is plastic. So we're really happy to be here at the Olympic Center in, in beautiful Park City, Utah to help uh, demonstrate and underscore the things that plastics can do for winter sports. Today we participated in an X Games of sorts. We're going to have a snowshoeing challenge, then we have a sledding challenge, we have a recycle challenge, and then we also have a hockey slap shot. After we saw the first few people demonstrate what we were going to do, I was sort of scared. We're going to start out with pre-plastic equipment. So we've got leather, snowshoes, wooden uh, toboggans, um, old hockey gear with leather helmets, and uh, we're going to run the course that way. Then we're going to do it with the updated equipment with the technology of plastic involved. It's kind of fun to see firsthand how plastic makes a difference. Really helped us there. <laughs> He's got the bib in his face. The old wooden uh, chair that seemed to just stick to the snow and want to hold me right there. That's uh, moose bait. John, you're moving fast. You're going to have to come up with a new technique. Jason, you're spoken. You're looking good, buddy. Smile for the camera. And the faster new plastic uh, apparatus, uh, which threw me into the people catcher at very high rates of speed. I've realized that plastics make it a lot easier to slide down mountains and climb up mountains. Nice technique, Lara. Wide legs, like that. Probably the most noticeable part where plastic excelled was the snowshoeing event. All right, here we go. Nate is on course, and he's a tall boy. He's a tall drink of water. One of the events that we had today as part of the Winter Games was a recycling challenge and one of the neat things about it was it helped to familiarize the participants with lots of everyday plastics that can be recycled. A lot of people don't realize that there are plastic bags and a lot of plastic overwrap can be recycled. Many more bottles than people realize. I think most people know that drinking bottles can be recycled, but it's also things like shampoo bottles and laundry detergent bottles and things that come from places in the house other than the kitchen. So lots of neat opportunities to educate people about all the great everyday plastics that can be recycled. And it was really nice actually to learn about you know, what needs to come out, what can be recycled and what cannot be recycled. Well, the old-time hockey gear, I didn't think really provided any protection and uh, very hard to even hold on to those gloves. Clearly, there is more protection with the plastic gear than the leather. With the old equipment making the first slap shot, there's slap one. It almost trickles. Is that it? Oh, coming in for the first time of the plastic winter games. And they're up. You finish it to that race. Still, it's a photo finish. I was a bronze winner today, but you know, we're all winners. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there are no losers at Winter House. <laughs> Fortunately, you know, I was able to surmount the competition and bring home the gold. When am I going to get another chance to race an Olympian? Twice, maybe even twice. I had a great time. I was humiliated. Pretty successfully. Go with plastics. All right, rock and roll.